The man of the hour. And you're the hottest scoop this year. Got a few moments for an exclusive? Sorry, maybe some other time, Reg. I got a lot of prep for the playoffs. <sighs> well, I'll tell you what. If you give me the exclusive, I'll put together your senior highlight reel for recruiting next year. Wow, you'd really do that? Heck yeah. I, mean, I got a lot of tricks to get a lot of eyes on your tape, too. Yeah, I do that for all the guys that are pretty nice to me, which is the kicker and now you. Sold. I need as much help as I can get with recruiting. All right. Let's get started. Wow, great. Okay. Um, let me think. Oh, regarding your last game, what would you say is your biggest strength? My biggest strength? Uh, I feel like my receivers would say I'd throw them a pretty good ball. You know, I got this touch pass, puts it right where it needs to be. All right, well, if you're not going to play me, I quit. Well... Reg, I guess there's the exclusive. Need a word from my office. Welcome to our EA Sports live stream from Levi Stadium the home of the California High School Football State Championship and the host of tonight's clash between the Brush Hogs and the Bulldogs. Joining you on this beautiful evening, I'm Kevin Connors. Now the anticipation is over. A year's worth of blood, sweat, and tears has come down to this. Game time in the state championship. It's taken at the one. And really not much there as he's tackled just beyond the 20-yard line. Here we go. Here we go. So the Brush Hogs are lined up now. And you know, with a state championship on the line, every drive can seem like it's the most critical. Caught by Rosas. And he stopped at the 27. Well, for the Brush Hogs, this game marks a return to the state championship. It's, it's a chance for redemption after losing a blowout just one year ago in this very same stadium. The history they bring to this matchup adds a whole new dimension to this showdown. All right, so following the short game, here's third and one. Dixon takes the snap. Gets it to Poole, he's past the marker. And he's taken down at the 43-yard line. So earlier today, while speaking with Brush Hogs coach George Thompson, I asked if their loss in the title game last year came up at all in their preparations this week. And you know what he said? He said, oh no, he coughs it up. Scooped up by the D. And they'll have it at the 27-yard line. QB2 and his brigade of playmakers take the field for the first time in this title game. And he doesn't waste any time picking up the first. He opens that series with an excellent run. It's an 11-yard game, and they move the chains. Surveys the field. It's incomplete. Good coverage by Gales. Following the incompletion on first, here's second and ten. Looking to pass. Completes that throw to Hawk on the screen. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Sammy Hawk, the first score of this title game. And that'll make our score 7 0. That's it, baby. That's it right there. After giving up the touchdown, the Brush Hogs are back to receive. Coming from deep in the end zone, and he'll kneel down for the touchback. The Brush Hogs send out their offense. Let's see what the future holds on first and ten. Throwing to start the drive. Here's Dixon. Not 
able to throw it away, gives up the sack. As anyone knows, high schoolers and social media, it can be a recipe for drama. And Clay Rainey stirred up some controversy this week when he predicted a championship win for his Brush Hogs. You can imagine how well that went over with QB2 and his squad. Spoiler alert, not well. Drops back to throw here on third. Now he'll tuck and run. Still going. And he rips off a nice gain to the 45-yard line. A 28-yard gain. And now everyone's on their feet, myself included. Rainey gets the handoff. And he stopped at the 41. Okay, so you're hitting me up on social media wanting to know exactly what Clay Rainey posted. And it was an invitation to his championship party tomorrow evening. Yes, very bold. And you know what? He was pretty quick to delete it, too. Following the incompletion on second, it's third and six. Out of the gun, it's Dixon. All the ball comes, and they get to Dixon for the sack. And they go from field goal range to rethinking their strategy on this drive. The Brush Hogs lined up, ready to punt it away. And here's the kick. And Washington will not get a chance to return this one as the ball heads out of bounds. So the Bulldogs are lined up now. And all eyes are on QB2 as he gets set for this drive. I think every smartphone in the stands is pointed at that young man. An eligible receiver downfield. Offense. They ain't on that side. So there's the decision. And no surprises here as they accept the penalty. Still first down. Working from a challenging spot. Here's first and long. QB2 looks downfield. And he'll scoot his way forward for a solid game. So the comments keep coming in now on my channel. And yes, I did see Sammy Hawk's reaction to the Clay Rainey party invite. For those who haven't, here's what Hawk said. You can delete the post, but screenshots live forever. So there you have it. Everyone from playmakers to politicians take heed. The new era of bulletin board material is here. Goes to his left, it's complete. And he's down at the 40-yard line. A 29-yard gain, and that's a first down and then some. Lined up in the shotgun. On first down, back to pass. He's gonna run. First catch for Maddox. Pass the mark, and he's down at the 23-yard line. run out on this first quarter of action when we return the quest for a state championship continues stay tuned so we'll pick back up with the action here in the second quarter as we await the snap on first down and they're inside the red zone at the 19 a pickup of four on the play and now it's second and six Shotgun snap, here's QB2. It's caught at the eight, and that's complete. Good for the first inside the 10-yard line. Now eight yards from the end zone. Here's first and goal. Looking to throw, here's QB2. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And they stretch their lead. Myers now to add the extra point. And they stretch the lead 14 to nothing. Following the touchdown, the Bulldogs are ready to kick it away. Caught in the end zone. And it'll be a touchback as he elects to take a knee. 
the Brush Hogs take over on offense. And you know, signal caller Gavin Dixon, he's no stranger to pressure. He led the way to victory in a couple nail biters earlier this season. Really not able to get much before he's tackled. When you look around this stadium, clearly a state championship of this caliber will draw thousands upon thousands of fans, and there's more than a few NFL players among them. Before the game, I saw guys like Patrick Peterson and the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew, signing a bunch of autographs. And he'll be marked out at the 43. 16 yards that time, and they pick up the first. From the gun, inside handoff. They're gonna bring him to the ground after just a short pickup. I spoke of the NFL players in attendance here today. Earl Thomas and Jarvis Landry happen to be watching from the sidelines tonight. And get this, Adrian Peterson down goes Dixon. He couldn't elude the defense on that great pursuit. With a long way to go, here's third and long. From the gun, it's Dixon. And they're unable to make the connection, so here comes fourth down. Gavin Dixon, the field general of this Brush Hogs team and someone who comes from a family with deep ties to Nebraska football. His dad, Clyde, played running back for the Huskers, as did his older brother, Tommy. Mom, Olivia, was a star on the Huskers track team, so I'm not so sure Gavin has ever even considered going anywhere else. First play of the drive for the Bulldogs. And let's be honest, the playbook should take advantage of the way QB2 is reading the D and making great decisions. Maddox is wide open. 30, 20, and touchdown. Jamison Maddox, a show-stopping score from beyond midfield. Now to tack on another point. They add yet another point, one of many in this matchup. They're up big right now. Still leading by a comfortable margin. Here comes the kick. From a yard or two inside the goal line, he's got it. Really no need to risk it. He's just gonna take a knee for a touchback. Here come the Brush Hogs to start the drive. They've got to make every play count to have any chance of mounting a comeback. And they'll stop him after a minimal pick. I mentioned earlier Gavin's ties to Nebraska football. Look, he's obviously been asked about it since I think the eighth grade. And to his credit, he's never been shy about saying, yeah, I mean, if given the opportunity, who wouldn't want to be a Husker? So it's not a done deal till he signs that letter of intent, but there's a very good chance we'll see this young man in Lincoln someday. After a minimal pickup, here's third and seven. Shotgun snap, here's Dixon. Called by Kirkpatrick, that's a first down. You know, another thing about Nebraska football, we got a couple of former Cornhuskers in the house here today. Levante David and Rex Burkhead are here to take in this championship game. Tip of the cap to my pal Reggie for the heads up on that. Following the setback, grabs the snap. Oh, hold on, he's running late. And he's taken down at the 48-yard line. Now the Brush Hogs call timeout. That leaves them with two now as we near the halfway mark. On third down, here's Dixon. Batted into the air and intercepted. And they'll have it inside the red zone. Opening play of this drive for the Bulldogs. Remarkable consistency so far. They've scored on every possession to this point of the game. It's caught at the nine. A 
Yeah, you can feel the defense scrambling a bit. They could really use a stop with their backs against the end. It's caught! Touchdown, Bulldogs! Just two plays needed to find the end zone. Here's Myers now for the extra point. Puts it through. The tally now, 28 to 0. After giving up the touchdown, the Brush Hogs are back to receive. Fielded in the end zone, and he'll take a knee for the touchback. Here come the Brush Hogs to start the drive. And with this kind of deficit, Gavin Dixon and his playmakers will need to come up with something big on this drive. He's got Rosas. They bring him down. A solid gain of six there on first down. Out of the gun, looking to fire. He's got a man. And he picks up the first down. Rainey's lined up in the backfield. Looking to throw. Here's Dixon. It's a fumble. And the offense able to recover. A second chance now for this drive. Timeout called by the Brush Hogs. Their third and final one. As we unravel the final moments of this opening. The ball is loose. is ready on third and a mile. So after a lopsided first half, it's the Bulldogs in control. And when we return the second half of this championship showdown, we can only hope the rascals who pulled off that halftime prank are brought to justice. Either way, it's time to get back to the game. Here comes the second half. And that's a solid effort on the return as the offense heads onto the field. QB2 settles into this shotgun look. Back to pass on first down. Ooh, and that's almost intercepted. <laughs> I've got to take a break from the game here for a moment. I think the pranksters I mentioned earlier are still on the loose. Over in the Brush Hogs fan section, they're holding up signs they found underneath their seats with the letters that spell. Well, let's just say there's a reason we aren't pointing our cameras at them right now. Shotgun look. They'll throw from the 50. Goes to Maddox. And he's tackled at the 36-yard line. While I've got a moment here, I'd like to thank my guy Reggie Brown for the well-researched game notes he gave me earlier. Reggie writes for the school newspaper that's covered QB2 since he joined the team. And I gotta tell you, that little spark he has really earned my respect. Might be after my job one day. Here's QB2. That's caught at the two. And now just a couple yards separate them from Painter. Five yards closer to the end zone now. On second down, he'll drop back. Holds onto the ball as he takes a shot on that play. Now a bit further from the end zone. Here's third and goal. They snap the ball. He's got it! Touchdown, Bulldogs! They are running away with this game. Now they're lined up for the extra point. up and it's good so the scoreboard reads 35 to nothing following the touchdown the Bulldogs are ready to kick it away and this will be caught deep in the end zone yeah I think the special teams coach's head might have exploded if he took that one out right choice on the touchback Brush Hogs start the drive with Rainey. Not much there as they're able to bring him down. 
So I mentioned the game notes Reggie gave me earlier, and here's an interesting fact. Rush Hogs head coach George Thompson once played Coach Fetu in a football game. Oh, sacked by Collins. And he's on a rampage. That's four sacks in this game. At the halfway point of this third quarter, here's third and long. Now they'll throw from the gun. Popped up into the air, and he picked it off. Intercepted by Ellington. Opening play of this drive for the Bulldogs. And they've got to just be thrilled to begin this drive on the plus side of the field. Using his legs now. Hauled in by Maddox. Touchdown! Jamison Maddox! And that's a play worthy of RecruitsToWatch.com. Myers is on now for the PAT. And the point after attempt is good. The score now, 42 to 0. Falling further behind on the scoreboard, they're lined up for the return. This is fielded deep in the end zone, and this will be a touchback as he drops to one knee. Rainey's lined up behind Dixon. Start this time on the ground. And this time he's taken down as he gets to the line of scrimmage. Still 10 yards to pick up here on second down after the unsuccessful run. From the gun, looking to throw. High ball, caught by Rosas. The D's got it there on the move. And they'll have it at the 30 yard line. Ready for the shotgun snap. Here's QB2. On first down, he'll drop back. Down the middle of the field, it's complete. And he makes the grab, picks up the first, and moves them even closer. Now four yards from the end zone. It's first and goal. They'll go with the run. They bring him down after a short pickup. A gain of three on the play. And now it's second and goal. He'll try again with Hawk. And he goes straight at him. Touchdown. They're looking unstoppable right now. Now the kick for one more. And the kick is good. Our score now, 49 to nothing. Ready now for the kick. This will be caught deep in the end zone. And this will come out to the 25 as he drops to one knee for the touchback. start the drive. Here's Dixon. Oh, change of plans. He tucks the ball. And all it takes is one play to move the sticks. A great run there. An 11-yard pickup. And that's good for a first down. Dixon hands it off to Rainey. And they'll take him down after a nice pickup. A gain of five on the play. And that makes it second and five. Scans the field. Looks middle and it's complete. Now he's taken down. Four yards there on the completion, but it sets up a third down. So that'll do it for this third quarter of action. And after a quick break, we'll return with the final act of this state championship. As we begin the fourth quarter, the defense looks to end this drive on third down. Looks to throw out of the shotgun. And that drops incomplete. So now they're looking at a fourth down. And 
And he gives it the boot. And the ball sails out of bounds as the offense makes its way onto the field. This drive will begin on the ground. And he's taken down after a nice run. While doing some prep for this game, I got a recommendation to check out RecruitsToWatch.com. And let me tell you, QB2 is well represented with some jaw-dropping highlights. And you gotta remember, until earlier this season, he hadn't played a down of football since Pop Warner. Think about that kind of meteoric rise. From the shotgun now, inside handoff. And they're not able to stop him before he comes up with the first down. One last thing on recruits to watch. You can go to the archive and watch videos they have on players that are now in the NFL. I highly recommend you search for DeAndre Hopkins and Le'Veon Bell's highlights. I mean, it's like watching someone play Madden. You know, Madden, the, the video game. Madden. Another give to Hawk. Touchdown! Sammy Hawk! And there is no question, he's the player of the game. Myers now to add the extra point. And he gets it to go. After giving up the touchdown, the Brush Hogs are back to receive. This is fielded just inside the goal line. And we won't see a return here as he kneels for the touchback. So the Brush Hogs are lined up now, and we'll see if they've come up with anything to prevent this drive from ending with yet another punt. And that's good for a first down. Wanting nothing more than a score, it's first and 10. Back to pass. Completes that throw to Rainey on the screen. Oh boy, and that'll set them back as he's tackled for a loss. Needing something positive, it's second and long. He's back to pass. Oh, look, the ball's loose. two plays a trend they don't want to continue each of them going backwards so now it's third and long here's Dixon now he moves out of the pocket and he's brought down at the 28 yard line a pickup of eight on the play and another huge play the brush hogs lined up ready to punt it away and here's the kick Here's Washington, and not much to it on that return as he's unable to find a seam. And they keep it on the ground to run off some clock, and he comes up with a nice gain before he's taken down. During my pregame interview with Coach Fetu, he expressed all kinds of excitement about this opportunity for his kids, but I detected a tinge of sadness when the conversation turned to the subject at top. There's room to run. Ten. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And that should seal the deal. He knocks it through. Still ahead by a wide margin. Here comes the kick. Caught in the end zone. And he'll kneel down for the touchback. Going through the motions now. It's first down. 
Throwing to start the drive. Here's Dixon. They run the screen, and that's complete to Rainey. And as the seconds count down, the realization is here. The Flush Hogs will come up short once again. Now look, I know character is formed at times like these, but man, knowing what it would have been for this team, I mean, you're not human if you don't hurt for these kids. Following the takedown, here's third and long. Dixon looks downfield, throws into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Douglas. And that play will seal the deal. Hawks lined up in the backfield. The Bulldogs will run it. And that's a tremendous run to lead off the drive. From first down to first down. From the 10-yard line, Here's first and goal. They'll go with the run. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Now oh, they are running up the score. Now to dot the I and cross the T. And he puts it through. Down, the Bulldogs are ready to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone, and it'll be a touchback as he elects to take a knee. Here we go. Throwing to start the drive. Here's Dixon, and they can't make the connection, so it'll be second down. Still 10 yards to go after that incompletion on first. Once more on second down, here's Dixon. He's got Rosas tackled as he pulls in the ball. Six yards is the pickup as that'll lead to third down. Getting ready for the shotgun snap, here's Dixon. Back to pass on third down. Dixon's pass is intercepted. Picked off by Ellington, and it's a pick six touchdown. Now they'll kick the PAT. And that should do it. The coaches are struggling to keep their players from running onto the field, but even they're having a tough time containing their excitement. Following that pick six touchdown, the Bulldogs are ready to kick it away. Caught in the end zone. Really no need to risk it. He's just going to take a knee for a touchback. Throwing after the interception. Here's Dixon. The desperation heave. Batted into the air and intercepted. Kevin Connors as we give way to this euphoric scene.